Starting off with a basic scene in Blender, moving this up, creating a platform for reference, something kind of like that, changing our render engine to cycles, and now holding Z and going into rendered view, opening up a new window inside Blender, going to shader editor, and switch this to world. Before we get started, you're going to want to turn on Node Wrangler, and it comes with Blender by default. Turn that on, click Save, and close that. Now to create a really quick and easy sky texture, you're going to want to add in a sky texture node, color into color. So now you have this very, very bright, um, sort of golden glow. And now you can adjust the strength of this. We'll say 0.2 will work by default, maybe 0.15. Go ahead and mess about with some settings. I'm going to get rid of our light source there. Um, you can turn the sun on and off, the actual you know, sun emission. Um, you can change the size of it, like so, and the intensity of it, so how, how bright it is. Um, exactly, and the elevation of it, you can control sort of how high it goes, like that. Um, so I'll put it up there. I'll turn the size of it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be too terribly big. And the actual size of the sun, it will determine how sharp your shadows are. So if I turn the intensity to something like 0.1 and I show you a very small sun will create very sharp shadows and a bigger sun will create softer shadows. So I think that's about good. You can change, um, you know, if it's like midday, it'll be here. So you can change how high up in the sky it is, something like that. Um, and then you can also change the angle in which it's at. And this will affect your entire scene. So play with that how you will. And the altitude of your sun will determine that interesting glow in the sky. So I think something around 1,000 meters is, is good. Because then your actual sun, um, it doesn't look like a very harsh circle. But, you know, it doesn't look, you know, too, it just looks normal. Something like that. Turn our sun intensity back up to a desired value. You can hold shift while you move this to get a more gradual um, adjustment. And I'm just going to uh, turn the color on this block down a little bit so we can kind of see you know, exactly how everything looks here. So just the gray for reference. And so now we have a somewhat basic sky. We can change these values to get whatever desired result we want. Something maybe like that. That looks good to me. Basic dark blue sky. Maybe a little bit more blue, a little bit more air, lighten it up. Something kind of like that. And the nice thing about this method is that you don't have to add your own sun sunlight. You can if you want, you can just turn the sun disk off and add your own sunlight to get your, your own sun color. But the nice thing about this method is that it also emits a very low power blue light on pretty much everything in every direction, which gives it a realistic shadow look. If you go outside in midday, you'll realize that shadows are more, are more blue than everything else. Than just a normal shadow, like a shadow inside would be dark, just colorless. But here, all of our shadows are blue, um, which is a lot more realistic. So that is a benefit of this. You don't have to add in your own, you know, say four blue sun lamps in every direction to try and mimic that. This kind of does it for you. And now to add some very easy, very fast clouds. What we're going to do, um, let me fix this. 
do that elevation if I turn this down maybe we'll get more of a haze maybe I just need to turn my air up more or my dust I think it's my dust yeah there we go more of that haze there it is let's shift while I'm doing this that makes it like that there we go that's better so now for some very fast clouds um, shift alt and Z will kind of hide all the stuff that you're not going to see in a render so now what I'm going to do is into the strength of our background no 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 sorry we're going to duplicate our background with shift D and we're going to use an add shader node like this we're going to take our background and plug it into the add shader this other background into the add shader and plug this into our world output surface so now we have two backgrounds mixing into one. So go to texture, Musgrave texture, and plug this into that. And now you've got this weird pattern on your sky texture. What you're going to want to do is, is probably scale it down, scale it up, it's preference. Turn your detail about all the way up. I'd say 10. 10 to 15 is good, depending on how detailed you want your clouds to be. Turn your dimension all the way down, and then you'll see if you get this very, very interesting looking resemblance of clouds. So you can change this effect, kind of change how your clouds look, change the scale. It's a matter of preference. You kind of play around with it. Maybe change that to one, you get more harsh, harshness in it. But that doesn't matter because we're going to be adding a color ramp to this and this color ramp will change how our clouds look like so and how intense that they can get I think that's about good right there something kind of like that you know turn our strength down to 0.5 maybe 0.8 it's whatever it's your preference then come over here to color management and also turn down the exposure and kind of change how everything in our scene looks. Turn our gamma up a little bit, turn our exposure down a little bit, turn our look, base contrast, something like that. You know, very low contrast. Turn the exposure back up. And you can honestly just play with this for ages to get a look that you want. Just a little bit over exposed. I'll turn it there. And that's about simple. Something like that. Turn our sun intensity back up. Something kind of like that. So it looks like a bright day. A bit too bright. There we go. That does good. And so now we don't want our clouds hanging out down here where they shouldn't be. One way you could get rid of this is to scale up your platform. Very big. So that it kind of hits the horizon and it helps when you've got your so you can see farther like that. Also turn this down so we can see what we're doing more. But what I'm gonna do is show you how to get rid of the sky down here. So in the background of our sky that's being added to our other you know, blue sky, our kind of clouds right here. We're going to add a gradient texture, factor into strength. So now it gets rid of the clouds over here, but not over here. So we need to rotate our gradient texture. We do that by adding a mapping node and a texture coordinate. Grab your generated and plug it into your top vector, vector to vector, and now we have control over our clouds on your y-axis rotate it 90 degrees and now there's no clouds down here and only clouds at the top and it fades at the horizon similar to how it would in real life now if we come back and zoom in you can see that's much better and when you eventually do scale up your platform it fades into the horizon and it looks fairly natural And so this was very fast, very simple sky texture that you can make yourself. You can play around with all these settings. 
change how your skies look. And yep, thanks for watching.